All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So here in front of you today, I have this turbo electric hybrid aircraft propulsion test bench. So I'm going to be doing a quick overview of what all is going on here, and then I will go ahead and fire it up and do a test run um, to make sure everything's working on this. So go ahead and start here at the top. We have a KingTech K100 a turbo jet engine with the uh, turbo prop turbine on it and this turbine outputs about 13 kilowatts of shaft horsepower at I think about 7,000 rpm and then we have that coupled to this uh, brushless DC motor using just a simple flexible shaft coupling and this is a uh, I think rated for 15 kilowatts and we're running it as a generator in this case so the engine's driving the electric motor uh, which will then produce a three-phase power output on the other side at uh, optimally around uh, 44 volts to 50 volts. So I also modified the electric motor to have some Hall effect sensors in there. That way we can monitor rotor position and RPM of the motor for future power control systems that will go back here. So for today's test, I'm using this diode rectifier. This will be good to get some baseline results to compare future power systems with, which is the whole point of this test bench. So coming off the end of this diode, I have a couple sets of power wires, and these are feeding over to some current meters. Uh, that way we can monitor the power coming out the back, going up to these ducted fans. And here I've got two JP120 electronic ducted fans. These are rated at, uh, to operate at 50 volts and they can dump out over uh, 5,000 watts of power. They are terribly inefficient, but they do a great job at absorbing power. For today's test to control all of this, I have two servo testers. Over here, one of them is connected to the throttle on both ESCs, and then the other one is connected to the engine's throttle.